Okay. I decided that I wanted to investigate the consequences of we are living in a Cairo universe, a four-dimensional, three dimensions of space and one of time, which has a hand in this. Your hands will fit as mirror images, but they will not fit on top of each other because the thumbs and they got the wrong sides. So I made a canonical figure of doing an opening A, and now I'm going to take the index and put it over and pull that over, and you will see that I have two hooks in the side. I will hold this down and I will reach and fix the bottom, much like what happens in the Klamath ending. And this is a Klamath ending, actually, without the Klamath information. And you will notice that I now reach up and I fix the top in that fashion, and I have a figure which is the canonical figure, which is a simple figure with opening A. And it gives you the idea of how to always form the figure. Now let's try to introduce complexities. I can do an LDNA. And let's, I can do all four of the, 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 the openings. LDNA, RDNA, opening A, opening B. And I can rotate the loops. And let's rotate the index loop plus a half. I now fix the bottom. Make the left go over the right. And fix the top. And I have a much different sort of figure. I can rotate those one half towards. And let's make sure I do it right. Let's do LDNA again. Rotate one half towards in the index. Fix the bottom. Transfer the top and lift out, and you see I have an altogether different pattern. And if you systematically go through all the differences of rotating the index, you will find very interesting outcomes. You can also, from this position, rotate, that's a zero rotation, which is how you form opening A. You can also come from the top, rotate one half towards, or one half away. And you can also come not in the center, but you can come in the near quadrant. And again, and again. And you will see that you get altogether different results because what you are introducing is a chirality because of your openings and the way that the universe is, and asymmetry because you're doing different things with the right hand and the left hand. You're rotating the uh, loops of the index plus and minus a zero, plus minus one half, and plus minus two halves. So there's a very rich field of information that you can investigate using the canonical figure and all of the different kinds of changes within it within the forming of the loom, and then trying to learn what the consequences of chiral rotation uh, and asymmetrical move with the right and left hand have in terms of forming figures, and then you can begin to create figures which are quite interesting.